Today we've got a video showing myself and Shay opening up several ammonite nodules, a range of different sized nodules and different species of ammonites within them. Let's get started and open up the first nodule. Here's a look at the type of ammonite that we're going to be opening up today. Hopefully the nodules contain a specimen as nice as this one. This is a perfectly exposed Dactyloceros ammonite. We opened this exact specimen in one of our other videos like this. Shea's going to crack open the first nodule now. Pretty large nodule as you can tell. And very easily he managed to open it up. A single hammer blow formed a nice crack around it. Sadly, this first nodule was completely empty. Let's open the next one. Nice big nodule here. Let's open some inside. It's a nice semi salat I'm just starting to show there. Oh, I mean, you could tell by how hard gosh. I was hitting the nodule. It's very pyritic. You can even see the green there. So I don't think I'm going to hit that any further. I think that one needs to be prepared with the tools at home. But it looks, Sounds good looks, to me. looks lovely. It's got a nice brown shell on it. Pyrite content as well. Here's a close-up of the ammonite outer world that we exposed. Really can't wait for my dad to prepare this one. Really intriguing what it's going to turn out like inside. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Still got plenty more ammonite rocks to open up. Me and Shay have been working hard to find plenty of really exciting specimens. Let's open the next one. This is exactly the type of ammonite that we were really hoping to open up. Perfect Dactyloceros, even better I would say than the one we showed at the start of the video. Shea is now going to try and open a different type of Dactyloceros, Tenucostatum ammonite. Normally these ammonites open really easily, however this nodule in particular is pretty difficult to open up. Must have quite a lot of pyrite content in it, it's really unusual. Very important to wear your safety glasses when doing anything like this. There we go, he's managed to open it up. Wow. It's a beautiful one. Even though we've already opened a number of really lovely ammonite specimens, believe it or not, there's still three more of the best specimens this video yet to come. Let's have a look. This nodule contains an ammonite that's a different species. It's a Gramoceros ammonite. You can just tell it's very easily going to open up. Inside, 
a really pyritic looking Gromoceros Ammonite. Really, really lovely example of this species and one that's actually quite rare to find. We were really, really pleased to find this one. This is one of the nodules that we found after a rough sea. Quite a few nodules had become exposed. You can't tell at all if anything's actually going to be inside this one. Getting closer and closer to opening it up, and there we go. Another perfect Dactyloceros ammonite inside. It's always such a nice surprise when you open any rock up and there's actually a fossil within it. The vast majority of the times, these nodules are empty. Last but not least, we have this pretty sizable limestone nodule, which she is going to be opening up. Very tricky to open these nodules. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. And there we have it. Lots of nodules opened up with some really nice fossils inside. We don't always find that many nice fossils on every single fossil hunt, unfortunately. It's always really nice when we do come across something as nice as the ones in today's video. If you do decide to get some ammonites yourself to open up at home, I really hope you enjoy them. Thanks for watching. I'll play a scenery clip now just to round off the video nicely. And we'll see you in the next one.